all right so moving with our chart application before we there is one thing that i wanted to do before just jumping directly uh, into the creation of apis and adding sockets to it was discussing the database model because the core gist of any application is the database if if well enough time is spent on designing a good database anyone can make an api anyone can do the front end part it's just getting some data from from the database with with the help of queries but we need to have a database that can support our infrastructure so before i jump into the uh, the api section i wanted to discuss the database model um and yeah let's do that i i will have i have three tables uh, let's see if this works all right so i have three tables i have a users table i have a chat room table and then for each chat room i have chat messages now for our user table for our users collection sorry we have an id which is a string of random it's a string that generates automatically by default then we have first name also a string then we have last name also a string and then we have type which is a string but can be of only two types and the types are a uh, consumer and support sorry um i don't know how we did that all right so we have id first name last name type and i don't know why this got here all right um so we have type uh string and consumer and then we have created that which is a date type then we have updated at which is also a date and yes this is pretty much it so we have a users collection we have id string first name string last name string type is a string but can only be can only have two values consumer and support and then we have created at and updated at next uh, let's this is my first time using this tool um, so please bear with me okay so this is what it does all right i just want to extend this extend this next we have uh, chat rooms so for chat rooms uh, our our structure is something like this we have we have an id which is a string of random characters done by us or, de uh, or default and then we have user ids a user ids is an array this uh, user ids will actually hold all uh, all the users ids that are associated to a certain chat room and then we have type so chat room can also have types uh, one is consumer to consumer <clears throat> and the other is consumer to support and i'll i'll, I'll talk ab about this in in just a bit as to why this is important and what this can do for us having types in our chat rooms as well i uh, just give me a second let me just complete the model and then we have chat initiator chat initiator 
this is a string and uh, basically th this will be the user id the, the value for this will be the user id whoever starts the chart and then we have again created art which is also a date type created at and then we have updated at which is also a date type cool and all right so i have this users i'll put this here i can just put all of these things here because i need more space all right so i have cool i have users i have chat rooms and the last thing that i'm missing are the chat messages so how about I just copy this if I can? Oh, I can copy this. Okay. So, and I will have a chat messages collection. Again, it will have an ID. And I can probably go and remove all of this. All right. So it will have an ID. And uh, the ID is going to associate it with an individual chat post. And then uh, a chat message will belong to a chat room. Next, we will have a message. All right, this is so message. Message can be an object, and I, I will talk about this in, in, in a bit as well. Then we have type. Type is a string. And if no type is provided, I want the default uh, type to be text next we have posted by user so if you're posting a message in, in in the chat room i want to know who you are this will be a string again the id of the user and then we have all right so i i, I have read by recipients information this is going to be an area and i will talk about this as well created at date updated at date and this thing it's not going to be a collection but it's going to be a nested collection of this chart messages so it's not going to have its own uh, let's just do this read by recipients and read by recipients is only going to have the read by user id string again this is going to be uh, the id of the user read add this is going to be dead and by default as soon as this collection is called whatever the date is at that time is going to take that date so i'm just going to add date dot now all right and then we have and this is it so let's start we have users a collection of users and each user item will have an id so each user will have its own unique id first name last name Type here is consumer and support, and you can even have like further more types. You can have admin. Uh, you can have uh, support level one, support level two, and I will talk uh, uh, talk the advantage advantages of this because uh, have adding a type can help us query better uh, chat list for us. So, for example, I want to see all 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 the users that are uh, support level one associated to a certain chat room right so we need this type for this uh, tutorial I'm, I'm just focusing on consumer and support but you can extend this to at any level that you want then uh, for because chat rooms needs users all right so for every chat room uh, we have an id and then an array of user ids and uh, the user ids are going to be taken from this users collection 
So for example, we have two users, John and Jane. John's ID is one and Jane's ID is two. And both of them are consumers, right? So uh, this value will have one and two value. And then we have different types of chat rooms. So we have consumer to consumer, consu consumer to support. At the time of initialization, uh, in initializing the chart, uh, we will see that the users who are going to initialize the chart, if they're both consumers, uh, I'm going to assign this chat room as consumer to consumer. If it's between a consumer and support, I'm going to assign this as a consumer to support. Again, the advantage of type uh, type here is uh, in companies, companies have different funnels uh, in their marketing stages. Uh, an initial uh, fern where uh, someone just viewed the product but didn't buy it. Another, another uh, uh, funnel name uh, where the user bought the product but uh, didn't uh, uh, give review or something like that. The third, uh, there might be another funnel with a user who has given very bad feedback. So based on these funnel types, we can have like different uh, types of uh, charts here. So it can be like consumer to support level three and something like that. And based on that, I can uh, query from my chart, uh, chart rooms, get me all the chart rooms where uh, the type is support level three and support level three here means uh, for all those chart rooms where the user, where the consumer gave bad feedback for a product. And I can get all of those chart rooms. And maybe in the future, because I have all, all of that information uh, for my chart rooms, I can just give them, I don't know, 70% uh, off on, on my next product. So I can have like chances of getting, making them into my loyal customers or something like that. And then I have chart initiator. Now, uh, I don't see a very practical use case here, but it's always good to have more information in your database. You, you never know that you might start needing it. Chat uh, initiator is also a string. It's going to be a user ID. And then we have created that and updated that. I've all, almost added this to all of my collections. I, I want to know when my user, my chat room, or, my, or when my messages were created or when they were updated. Uh, in this case, uh, in, for example, in, in, in the messages part, uh, it would make sense when the message was created. So uh, example, in, in your WhatsApp application, you see uh, you see the message and if you click on it, you see the time, time span, uh, the, the time span. That's going to be this created at date. The updated here date in the chat rooms can be taken uh, in this context that, for example, you were, this was a group chat, right? This was a, this was an admin to admin chat. So uh, admins group chat. So the user IDs here were like a list of all users. And uh, three months later, a new admin colleague joins uh, the company and you just add add and uh, you just push that user ID into this user IDs uh, array. And then you can just up update. Uh, this will automatically be, uh, be updated uh, using the Mongoose ORM that we're using. But this can give you like more analytics as to how your chat room uh, were growing or decreasing with time. So uh, for users, chat rooms, then we have chat messages. For each chat message, we will have a unique ID uh, that associates uh, to that chat message will be uh, generated automatically. Uh, I will talk about this in the tutorial. Then we have chat room ID. The chat room ID is going to be taken from here. I don't know if I can uh, pick up arrows. Oh, I can, cool. Oh wow. So um, I have this chat room ID that, that I can take from here. I can have a message object and, and the type of uh, message. Now again, types are very important. Uh, uh, by default for this it, uh, uh, tutorial, I'm only going to focus on text type uh, chat message, but imagine uh, you can have a chat with um, uh, where you share a link and and the uh, the link's uh, title appears with a small image. You can have uh, a link type. You can have uh, I don't know a YouTube video type uh, chat message where you can uh, embed YouTube videos in, into your message object, uh, image attachments and and stuff like that. So for this, I'm I'm just going to focus on uh, one message type, which is text. And here the message object is going to be just an object with uh, with one key, which is going to be message text. Uh, then I have posted by user. Uh, the posted by user is the one who is going to create that message for this particular chat room ID. 
and let me see if I can um, add another arrow because this is very cool uh, all right and can I oh wow so uh, the posted by user is also a uh, is a, is a user ID and then I have read by recipients. I will talk about this in a bit and then again created art and updated art. Uh, we probably won't use updated art uh, that much uh, for the chat messages and instances, but created art is very important. So in our chat list application, imagine a message, uh, the username, message, and then we have a timestamp. Created art is, is going to be is going to be that timestamp uh, that we're going to show in our chat application. By default, what Mongoose, uh, the best thing about Mongoose I love from a lot of things is the created ad and updated ad in all of these tables are going to be handled automatically. As soon as I create a new item in my collection or a new document in my collection, the created ad and updated ad values will be added there by default. And as soon as I update a single document in my collection, so I, I had a username John, I changed up and I ended up changing its uh, for last name to Pikachu, so John Pikachu. Uh, the created ad uh, date will remain the same, but the updated ad date will change, uh, and Mongoose will do that itself under, under, under the hood. And, uh, so Im imagine uh, right now I'm only going to focus on a uh, chat between two people. Well, imagine this is a group chat, right? So we have this red by recipients array, and inside this array, we're going to have uh, two things the red by user ID. Again, uh, let me use this arrow because why not all right and I, i'll just you know all right <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 new to these diagrams but uh so the red by user id will be a user id here and then the red add date will be again generated by us by default using mongo and as soon as a new collection is added uh it will automatically uh for example, as soon as I, I, I will create a new message, what it will do is whoever posted that message, he's read that message because he's posting it, right? So I'm going to add his user ID along with this red dot uh, timestamp. And the first, uh, when this user uh, creates it, the red dot and the created dot timestamp will be the same. Then uh, imagine the start is between John and Jane. John posted the message and when Jane, Jane came in and she read that message, what I will do is I will just uh, uh, take her ID and I will push in into this uh, read by recipients uh, array for a particular chat message. And uh, what I will do is I'll, I'll just push her ID and then, uh, and through my uh, code I will just update that read that uh, date automatically. So whenever I push that, whatever the time is, is just going to update that. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So we have users, we have chat rooms, we have chat messages. And for each uh, last arrow, promise. So for each, uh, okay, I cannot take this arrow inside. But for each uh, chat message, I'm going to have an array of read, read by recipients. So this can have like one, uh, uh, one item, two items, thirty items. But it's going to focus on that. And that is pretty much it regarding our. Um, chat model i hope this was helpful if not uh, just let me know on twitter and i can probably re-record this in a better way